tape here on, on the side. There's nothing under here to remove. Some machines have cardboard and foam and all this stuff around here. All I'm seeing on this is a couple of pieces of tape to take off. One there. One over here. There's one here, which actually helps you get this started to remove the remove this piece of plastic. I didn't get it, get it from the control panel. And that is a good looking control panel. So we're really getting our money's worth so far. And remember $189 is a pretty darn good price and you would have you would expect that they would be cutting some corners somewhere, but so far I haven't seen that. It's nice, easy to understand, nice big keys. Looks good so far. So I mean, there's a couple more pieces of tape we have to uh, move from the back here. One, two. Like I was showing fan before, this looks like a for the thick paper or possibly legal. I don't know how it how it opens up at this point in time. Maybe it doesn't, but I think there should probably be a well, that's to remove misfeeds. But I'm looking for some kind of an extension so that you can lay a long paper in there, but doesn't look like it's got one. Nevertheless, this is where we would feed non-standard non media through uh, from the rear here. Network cable. And over here we have the network interface, the USB, and your telephone lines line in and your telephone handset if you want to plug that in as well. So plug this in. Okay. Let's get the power cord. I'm not going to put, plug it in yet, but it goes right here. No brick. There's also a fax phone with the cable in, in this bag. No brick, makes it more professional. Less junk under your desk. I always like that. Okay, so we should be ready to move on to, I'm not gonna plug it in yet, we should be ready to move on to the next set of instructions. This comes in Spanish and English. So, okay. Don't um, connect the unit to, with a USB cable until prompted. Plug it in. Insert the disc. So let's go over here. strip okay with the CD in the drive we're going to close it auto run select English Panasonic setup let's look at custom installation always want to know what we're installing before we do it Sometimes there's things that you might not want to install. Next. 
I don't know why anybody would not agree to the end user license agreement, so yes, that folder is fine. Once again, I choose custom. So we'll make sure, see what we've got. Okay, here we go. The multifunction station drivers, device monitor, easy print utility, read iris, multifunction station applications. Sounds good to me. It doesn't look like to put any extra junk on there that we don't need. So next. I'm going to go and set, ask us what they're going to do with a USB cable or connect via the network. So we have it hooked up with a network cable. Next. Found the device. Next. There's the printer, PC fax. The following names look fine to me. I'm too lazy to change them anyway. Install. Installing multifunction station drivers. Do you wish to make it your default printer? Yes. Do you wish to install the operating instructions? Yes. Install. Installing the operating instructions. Please wait some more. progress bar here. Move along pretty quick. Go, go, go. Oh yeah. Installing device monitor. Okay. Installing easy print utility. Installing read iris. Seven. OCR software. Configuring system input output. And it's incomplete. It's, it's install was it complete? Yes, I want to start restart my computer now. 